Hey, what's going on guys? <laughs> so you can thank Dennis for another video with another x-ray of a very popular knife that a lot of people want to see inside the handle. So this is the Cold Steel Walmart fixed blade. Okay, I showed this, I don't know, maybe a month or two, something like that. And uh, I was very surprised to see Cold Steel at Walmart. This was a two-pack. The other one was uh, gray. So where this is red, the other one's gray and black. All right, little fixed blade. Very nice, surprisingly better quality than I thought. And of course, everyone wants to know, is it full tang? What's going on on the inside? Well, our buddy Dennis hooked it up yet again, went to Walmart, bought this knife set just so he can get an x-ray for you guys. So big, uh, big clap for Dennis. Thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate it. I think it's awesome. And now I'm sharing it, of course, with you guys. So, with no further ado, here is what's inside the Cold Steel Walmart fixed blade set, which, by the way, was $19.99, I believe. You can reference my videos, 20 bucks. Um, I want you guys to let me know if you still see this there, if the price changed, is it available? You don't have to necessarily let me know your you know, city or, or township, but at least let me know the state. If you happen to see this, you're, you know, hey, I'm in from Indiana. Yeah, I saw it, but here it's $25. Or, hey, I'm from, uh, you know, Minnesota, I don't have it. Hey, I'm from Jersey, we have it, it's $15, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of curious across the country because it's been really hit and miss. Someone sent me a video, I know I'm stalling here a second, but I, I have stuff to say, you know? This is not scripted, I just, you know, start talking. <laughs> so bear with me a second. Um, <laughs> no, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, like mid-thought, I'm thinking, like, people are just wanting to see the x-ray, right? So just show it to them, but I, I have stuff to say, just hang on a second. So, what, what was my point? Uh, oh, I had someone send me a message. They showed me a picture of their Walmart. They had all the little Ozark Trail folders on sale for $3 each. I think, oh no, I'm sorry, maybe it was $2.50. It, it, somewhere between $2 and $3. Now, they had a, a limited selection there, but I was telling them that like my local Walmarts, there's three Walmarts I go to within probably 80 miles uh, from where I live. And uh, all three options, as far as when I've been there, they, none of them have had those Orzark Trail folders out, even on display. I don't know why. After Christmas is over, they just put them away and that's it. All I see is the knives in the knife case, which is the usual suspects, the same thing we've been seeing for, you know, 20 years. So, anyway. So, here is the x-ray. That's what's going on on the inside of our Cold Steel Walmart knife. And I don't mind these uh, things in the middle. Obviously, something something else. Um, I forget Dennis explained it, but so there, there's what's going on. So let's put this on top here. I'll leave that right there, so we can see that we do not have a um, traditional full tang. Let's say obviously full tang is full tang. That's a uh, a metal handle with something slapped on top of it for grip, right? But it is surprising to see a very nice long tang. Of course the um, the opening or you know cut out in the middle this little circle here is so that when you do this like resin molding on here it actually goes through the metal if you didn't have something like this for the the plastic or rubber whatever it happens to be the resin um, to connect to itself it would be less strength right now I love to see a bunch of holes now you might think well that's gonna take away from the strength it wouldn't in my opinion it's just my opinion you know uh, if they had three holes it would be even stronger because that resin would be moving in and out of um, you know the actual tang itself but regardless of whatever you think there you go I if I had to guess I would have guessed it looked like this you know it came in just nice and short and that's it and it's just cheap or whatever but it's nice to see it's actually a substantial length here all right it comes all the way back to here right before our um, our lanyard hole or loop so yeah if you're curious what was inside the cold steel knife now you know so, Dennis, again, I, I can't thank you enough. This was, uh, it's, it's an amazing, um, simple thing. There's tons of x-rays everywhere. Not everyone who's into knives has access to an x-ray machine. Uh, someone has suggested, actually, a couple people suggested, hey, Jeff, why don't you get, like, a little portable x-ray machine so you can do this at home with every knife? I'd love to. They are ridiculously expensive, as you can imagine. All right, if someone has an x-ray machine sitting in their basement that they don't want and you want to send it to me, maybe I can work out a trade with you, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, anyway... Thank you, Dennis. Much, uh, much appreciated. It really is. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, share that information with everyone. Um, since my review on this video, I did take this out one more time. Just did a little, you know, playing around. I actually did some more, um, you know, wood splitting and batoning with this, and it was totally fine. It, it held up fine. Um, I am still currently surprised at the decent quality. I wouldn't say this is like an amazing knife or anything, but for what it is, 
you know, I, I still really, really feel like this logo should not be on there. You know, this is this is a selling point. You know, if I walk through Walmart and I saw this knife, I would not think twice about it. Okay, that's just some random Ozark Trail Fix blade. Zero interest. Zero. It's only because of this. And that's why they, they sell these there. It's marketing, right? Just like when you see the word Winchester on a knife. Winchester didn't make that knife. Remington. Remington didn't make that knife. You know what I'm saying? These are selling points. These are, you know, blue collar, you know, American people who walk into Walmart and they happen to see these brandings and they go, yeah, that's quality. I'm going to buy that. And they're just ill-informed, unfortunately. That's just how it works, right? But this marketing worked beautifully because I bought this set specifically to try, specifically because it says cold steel on it, even though it doesn't really have anything to do with cold steel, right? Technically, yes, on technicality, but we all know that cold steel is just not what it used to be. It doesn't mean it's terrible. It's not. Knock on wood, so far, there hasn't been too many extreme changes. They're still making some decent knives. I will say that the uh, the high-end stuff from Cold Steel that you see is is very, very expensive, but it can be argued that it's always been the really high-end stuff. It's just, uh, you know, things change. Everything changes with time. So I'd much prefer this to say something random on here, Terminator, you know, Rambo 15 or whatever, but it doesn't. It says Cold Steel. That's why I bought it. So they got me. They got my attention. They got my money. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, it turned out to be okay. Just okay. It, you know, it's very, very good compared to my expectations were low, really low. Thought this thing was going to break right away. Thought it was a, a huge, you know, pile of crap. But it turns out it's just okay. It gets the thumbs up, um, you know, until one day it doesn't. Um, I will tell you, though, after some more batoning and stuff like that, uh, I just tried some paper cutting tests and all in here where the belly is which obviously most of the batoning happened like in this section. I was only batoning smaller, maybe, I don't know, two or three inch, uh, you know, hunks of, um, of branch and stuff that happen to be dead wood in my, uh, my yard. But, um, but yeah, more up in this belly area, which I was doing a lot of the chopping originally, this is, uh, was definitely dulling out, all right? So this was not cleanly slicing paper, so it does need a touch up at this point. But we all kind of knew that the, uh, you know, steel would be the, the best. It was more about... You know the strength how durable is it can i really smack it on things can i really process some wood and you know maybe use it in an emergency or something it's not going to completely fall apart no it won't completely fall apart um but no it's not the the most amazing fixed blade either so but for 20 dollars, i mean it was 20 dollars for two mind you so this is a 10 dollar knife for 10 dollars yes it far exceeds my expectations two thumbs up so anyway that's it so now you know what's inside in case you're curious Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you happen to get this knife set, let me know down in the comments what you think of yours. Um, I'm curious, but I do like them. So that's all. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.